Hey guys, what's up? Toba Logo here. Today we are back with our Mauritius qualification campaign on Legendary Difficulty. Remember in the first video, we got past that group thanks to basically a miracle of Liberia helping us through the group stage, beating Congo, and we beat Zambia as well. So that meant that we got through just by, I think, the skin of our teeth, pretty much. We were very lucky to get through. Now we're here in the second round of qualifying, or the third round, I think, because it's like the last stage until you get into the World Cup. So we need to come top of the group. We've got Ivory Coast, Libya, and Malawi to contend with. Um, I don't fancy my chances of Ivory Coast, but the other two, possibly. So we might be able to get a couple of lucky draws and hope that Ivory Coast fall off during the qualifying campaign. So the first match of this second video is against Malawi. I haven't played Malawi too many times in this game. Don't know how like much star rated they are. I feel they might be like a one or two star team, possibly. We'll find out in a second. Uh, Mauritius have done really well. They have a decent team, a lot of potential with it. And already we've got a defensive breakdown and Malawi scored. That's not a good start to the video, five minutes in and we concede early on. I mean, that was a defensive breakdown. Some people have said that I do tend to drag my defenders forward a little bit too much. And yeah, I do admit that I do end up doing that. That is my downfall on any FIFA game. The thing is, I'm quite an aggressive defender on FIFA games. I like to snatch the ball back as quick as possible. Already being 1-0 down is not a good way to start this off, obviously. It's just that <laughs> now we got to like try and stop them. My goodness, Malawi are really on the attack. Quite a lot of our defenders are quite high up on the pitch. I'm going to try and play a little bit more conservative. Just go for it. Why not? Go for it. Oh my god, I thought he scored. I thought that was going top corner. Cross that in. Nobody is there. That cross was poor as well. We are on the attack. We are attacking, but there just needs to be a final product, and I can't find it at the moment. Oh, that's a decent ball. If there was a taller defender on the end of that cross, we could have like conceded, and we have conceded. That was just unlucky. And uh, Mua Fuliwa, is that how you <laughs> I don't know how you say some of these names. He scores thanks to this cross. It, well, it was this cross, wasn't it? Because it was the first cross that had us. And there's nothing we can do about that. Our defenders aren't really capable of out jumping players like that. So we're out of half time, and Mauritius haven't really played well. Malawi have. They've capitalised on our mistakes. They've been ruthless as well in front of goal. 2-0 up. They probably could have had maybe a third. That's a good ball. Can we get on the end of it? We have. Shot. Yes, okay. That was good. A good show of strength. And we got a goal back. It's Kundasami with the goal in the 63rd minute. That was a decent goal, to be fair, because as I came in, the defender tackled me. And I used my strength to shove him back off the ball and just nudge it in with a little toe punt. And it's 2-1. No, there's just no defending here. Come on, they missed a golden opportunity to bury the game. Go on, over the top, over the top. That's a really good ball. Can we get on the end of it? Get it. Oh, goalkeeper heads it. Headed it back. Go for it. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. It was offside. Oh, my God. If that wasn't offside, I mean, we missed anyway. But that was such a weird <laughs> sequence of events. Imagine if we did score that. Over the top. Yes, I think we've beaten them. Come on. Don't stumble. Come on. Yes, we scored. 89th, uh, not 85th minute, sorry. And it's 2-2. Marquette, that man again, he's pretty good in front of goal. He's the one that's getting most of the goals in this series. We just rescued this game thanks to an over-the-top ball. The control wasn't very good. And we still put it into the back of the net, though. I feel the keeper should have saved that. It was right at him. Really not very good positioning, maybe, by the goalkeeper, but it's fine. I don't care. It's 2-2. Well, that's it. Game over. I don't know why Mauritius are sort of unhappier with that result, because they're holding their hands in shame and stuff like that. But it's like, you just were 2-0 down against Malawi, who were basically, like, destroying us in the first half, and then we managed to turn it around. I don't think that's that bad, to be fair. Ivory Coast only won 1-0 against Libya, so that's not a brilliant result for them. Well, my wish wasn't granted. I got Ivory Coast for a second game. 
really tough ask to beat this side. I mean, we're a half star team. They are a four and a half star team. I'm fairly sure they're on the border of a five star team, Ivory Coast. This was like Ivory Coast's like best team ever. And we got to play them right now after conceding two early goals against um, Malawi. No, <laughs> I don't think we're going to win this. Ivory Coast have got so much pace that I imagine they can just walk past like our defence at walking pace and still manage to beat most of them. I mean, they're about to. Poor shot by Drogba. Oh my god, there's no defence here and Drogba just scores. Like By the time he turned round, it was basically game over for me. Like, as the ball came into the box here, there was a massive gap here. And he just turns around and shoots. I didn't have any time to sort of break him, well, close him down, sorry. So, Solomon Kalou, out the wing, down to TNA. Sakura whips it in and headed and scored. Wow, that was so quick. I didn't even know what was going on. And Drogba scores again to make it 2-0 to Ivory Coast. I think this is going to be a very short video. That cross was ridiculous. Like, how was I supposed to pick up that cross? And then Drogba, of course, he's a star player, one of the best strikers, like, in the world around that time, and heads it straight in. There's no way I'm going to, like, deal with that. Free kick to Ivory Coast on the edge of the box. What are they going to do here? Probably something absolutely ridiculous. They cross it in, header, and score. I couldn't even get anywhere near them. This is going to be an absolute thrashing. It's for Merrick. With the third goal, they're scoring a goal every 10 minutes or so. Because I just couldn't get in front of them. I tried to, but in that situation, of course, you're not going to get in front of them. Especially on legendary difficulty. This is going to be an absolute thrashing. Like, my goodness, I'm getting roughed up by Ivory Coast on attack right now. I can't even get anywhere near them. And whenever I got the ball, I just give it away like that. All I wanted was a, just a basic pass into the middle and it didn't do it. Crossed in, headed, and that could have been four. Currently 3-0 down against this Ivory Coast team. This group is turning out to be harder than I expected. I knew that Ivory Coast would be a very hard side to play against. So I deserve to be losing 3-0 at the moment. Jovino out on the wing, he crosses it in, that's going to be a goal. Yeah, I couldn't even get in front of Drogba. He got in front of me, and I couldn't manoeuvre the defender around him. It happened all too fast, and that's their fourth goal. Are we going to see me lose, like, 5 or 6 nil to Ivory Coast? Possibly. Decent ball. Decent! Yes, that was a brilliant move! That was a brilliant move. How did they not pick me up on that play? The over-the-top ball here... I thought that Torre was going to deal with that, or Bue, or whoever it was. And no, it just went over him, and I volleyed it straight in to get a little bit of pride back in this game. Look at that. That's a nice play. Goalkeeper didn't come for it at all. And it's 4-1. Jovino, oh my god. I, th I thought he was going to, like, square it to Drogba, and he just, like, slots it in near post. They caught us off guard there. Look at that. Like, there was only, it was like a two versus, like, two situation at best. And he, I thought he was going to put it far post, but he puts it near post. Very cheeky move by Jovino. Ivory Coast pressing. They go for the shot off the bar. That's just crazy by Drogba. My goodness, Drogba is just insane. Like, he just keeps hitting the post and stuff. Like, get out of here. You've got your free goals. Leave me alone. Can we get a cross in? We can, but there's too many strong defenders in the box. Oh, another chance to get... Oh, oh my god, I got tripped over when I went for the shot. Oh, of course. And the guy didn't go down, so it wasn't a penalty. And now they've brought on Dumbia as well. They, imagine if they brought him on, like, earlier. That would have been an absolute sweat fest. Well, we lost that game very heavily. It wasn't my biggest loss, but Ivory Coast showed a real display of domination and they were ruthless as well in front of goal. I couldn't do anything against them apart from the consolation goal that I got. But, like, yeah, we got to play them again in this run as well. So, I don't know. I think we're already out on that result alone. So, as you can see on the table here, we're really far behind Ivory Coast. So, we're basically just playing for pride now for the rest of the gameplay. Ivory Coast have already won three in a row. We've got to play Libya next. Um... Yeah, it's a double header as well because we got to play Libya at home and then after that away, I think, as well. So this next match is crucial. We are at home for this one against Libya. 
let's see if we can get a decent result and not get absolutely smashed in like we did against Ivory Coast. I'm fairly sure Libya on this game are like a two and a half star team, I think. Uh, foul, maybe, ref? Oh my goodness, the referee is blind. Osman, they go for the shot and just wide of the post. They got the ball back. I mean, we are just hopeless right now at getting the ball upfield. I feel like this team is just going to go out with a whimper in this qualification campaign. They're not going to do much, I don't think. This half has been incredibly boring. Like, not much has happened. It's just, every time I push forward, Libya deal with my attacks very easily. Half time then, and it's a really boring half so far. Not many shots from either side. Not many decent chances. Come on, we need to get a decent attack going. If the referee didn't get in the way, how many times in my gameplays has the referee just got in the way of a decent pass? They got the ball still. Not doing much with it. Like, if you're going to beat me, Libya, just do it already. Just do it. Stop messing around with it. Through ball here. It's offside? Oh, come on, really? I thought I had a decent attack going, and it was offside. Of course it was. Oh, deflection. Come on, content. Go on. Oh, my goodness. That was our only chance, really, of the game to score, and we messed it up. We should have scored that one. Oh, one of the most boring games I've probably played in a while, that Libya match. I know Congo the other day was boring as well, but... My goodness, that one was very boring. I don't know why Libya decided to play like that. So we definitely didn't qualify because Ivory Coast won their match against Malawi. So we're so far behind and yeah, well, Ivory Coast deserved it to be fair. They smashed everybody. So our fifth match of the qualifying campaign, well, the failed qualifying campaign, I should say, is against Libya again. I hope they don't bore the life out of me again. Like... I know what they were trying to do, they were trying to attack, but they just couldn't do it properly. Oh, looking back on it, it's not the fifth match, is it? It's actually the fourth match. What am I talking about? I haven't played Malawi twice. Decent play, into the box. Go on, go for the shot, off the post, of course it was. That was our best chance of the half to try and go 1-0 up. We have no time on the ball in midfield. The way Libya is set up is very defensive. Like, they do go on the attack, but... They're just pretty defensive, although we've just managed to break them down again. Sophie, or just pass the post. Not a great shot, but, I mean, it was close. That's a good through ball. Sophie, over the top of the keeper. Oh, my God, he saved it. Go on. Oh, how do you miss that? You literally passed it into the goalkeeper's hands. That, oh, that was a wasted opportunity to go 1-0 up. It would have, like, been great to actually, like, score... Off the post and in. There we go. Finally, Marquette can do it. He's an absolute beast. No, he's been really good. Half time. And finally, we did break Libya down. It's 1-0 at the break. That's a really, really bad tackle. How did they get away with that? And they scored. Near post as well. The goalkeeper's near post. And Osman scores to make it 1-1. Dubious. Like, that could have been flagged. Surely it should have been flagged. But... I don't know. Game just doesn't like me at the moment. <laughs> I guess he did get the ball, but then my player tripped over, like the trailing leg or something. Through ball. Nice. Here comes Sophie. Come on. We can score here. Don't hit the post or anything. Yes, there we go. 2-1. Finally, we're back again on top after having so many shots, so many chances to go through. Nice little tap in. Makes it 2-1. And there we go, we beat Libya 2-1. It doesn't matter because we're already out of qualification. But, you know, I'll take it. I'll take it. A little performance morale boost, I guess. So this is the fifth match of the qualifying campaign. And it's against Malawi. We're at home for this one. Uh, last time, of course, we drew against them in a dramatic 2-2 draw. Can we make it a little bit of a cleaner match and just beat them? They go for the shot, and that was very close to rolling straight into the back of the net. Goalkeeper did the most slowest dive ever. Come on, get back in the box. Shot, saved, another shot just wide. No, oh, that was close. Goalkeeper almost spilled that one. Oh my god, what are we doing? 
Well, what am I doing? That's just terrible. Terrible giveaway by me. Why do I play like this? Absolute garbage play that was. Crossed in. That's got to be a goal. Surely, yes. A little bit unorthodox with the finish. And Sophie scores the equaliser. When he wrapped his foot around that ball, I was like, if he missed that, he is not playing a game ever again. Because look, that was so close. It was a nice volley, but if he had missed that, I would have been very, very disappointed. Livia are beating Ivory Coast 2-1. That would have been helpful if we didn't get eliminated in like the second game of this video. Go for the shot. Oh, that was a brilliant tackle to steal it away from me. Well, not a really great game. Like both sides couldn't be separated again. But at least we didn't concede as many goals as we did against them when we played the first match. So that is a positive to take away, even if it is a small positive. So our final match of this failed qualifying campaign is against Ivory Coast. The match we played against them before was an absolute thrashing by them. They were so ruthless that I just couldn't even stop them. Jovino, early cross, Drogba off the bar and then straight in. It's just like... It's like a circus performance right now from Ivory Coast. They're like, like trick shotting stuff off the bar and then just headering it in off the bar. And all of the Mauritius players are spectators. In the third minute, we go one nil down. Let's see if we can try and head this one in. Decent header. Oh, just shaves the bar on the way over. Still got it. Like, oh my goodness, what a save that was! Right in front of goal, and he saves that. We have to check this replay out again. Like, I tried to get rid of it there. He just crosses it in instantly. And, oh, oh what a save. Oh, my God. Trevino just skips past everybody. Oh, they sold me on that play. Unfortunately for them, it went over the bar. They could have just squared it to drop, but it would have been 2-0. How is that not a foul? He's just injured the guy. Crossed in, header and straight in. That was Jovino, I think, on the edge of that cross. Couldn't get rid of it. Guy was never going to stand a chance against Jovino headering. I mean, that forehead is just so big that nobody can contest with it. Drogba, oh my goodness, that was a hell of a strike. Keeper did manage to save it, but it almost went in anyway. To Romeric, oh, that was so close to going in and making it 3-0. The scoreline is still not as bad as what it was last time, but Ivory Coast still played with that same intensity. Yeah, it is game over. The scoreline wasn't as bad as what we did against Ivory Coast the first time round, but still we lost. And um, yeah, the whole qualification run, this video, pretty much ended literally like within like, the first two games, when we drew against Malawi and lost so heavily against Ivory Coast, that was it. That was game over. So if you look at the group then, um, our goal difference really let us down to finish second. Libya just overtook us on the last day um, because they drew against Malawi. So yeah, Ivory Coast literally destroyed that group. They only got one draw. So who won the World Cup? It was Portugal against France 2-1 and Spain won the third place playoff 2-1 against Italy. So that was your uh, qualification run, your failed qualification run with Mauritius. So at least we got two parts out of it, so it wasn't too bad in the end. But uh, like I said, Ivory Coast really did ruin that run. They got beaten by Costa Rica as well, Ivory Coast, in the round of 16. So... I guess that's a tiny bit of karma for smashing me 5-1 there. But if you did like this video, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always, and I'll see you again for the next video.